Hey everyone. So oftentimes in Databricks notebooks, we would need to access API keys or connection strings. However, not everybody working on the notebooks needs to be able to view those items. And Databricks has an option for adding secrets to an Azure Databricks workspace so you can reference them in a secure way within notebooks. However, using secrets is a premium feature in Azure Databricks. If you try it in a standard workspace, you'll see this error when trying to use it in a CLI. And to see which tier your workspace is in, you can check it in the Azure portal here. You can see the pricing tier will either say premium in this case or standard. So let's go over using secrets within the Databricks CLI. And that can be accessed from Databricks secrets command. And as always, you can add dash H to get help on that command. So the first thing we're going to go over are scopes. And scopes are a way where you can group together different secrets. And so we can list out scopes using the list scopes command. So database secrets list scopes. You can see I already have two scopes already created. And to create a scope, you can just call the create scope command. And to give the scope a name, use a dash dash scope. And then give the name of your scope. In this case, I'll say Azure. And we can list the scopes again, just to make sure that it got added. And we see it got added there. And just like creating a scope, we can also delete a scope. So instead of create scope, you would just say delete scope. And it will be whatever scope name that you want. I'll do Azure SQL in this case. And we'll list them to make sure it got deleted. There you go, now it's gone. Next, we can actually list the different secrets within the scope using Databricks secrets list and then give it the scope name. I can use Azure and we don't have anything in it. So we can add a secret to it. And there are a couple of ways in which you can add a secret using the Databricks CLI. The first thing is use Databricks secrets, give it the scope name, so Azure. Give it what key secret will be named. So dash dash key and I'll say storage for an Azure storage connection string or API key. And you can do dash dash string value and then put the string of the key in here. So ASDF, uh, and I forgot that I put the actual command in here. So database secrets put, or you can also use the write command. They both do the same thing. There we go. So that got added, but adding a scope this way is the least secure. So if I clear my history, I can still go back up and view the history and other people looking at my screen can still take a peek at the secrets that I'm adding. So instead, there's a couple other ways in which we can add a secret here. So Databricks put, give it a key, so key two. And then if I don't put anything else, it's gonna pop up with a temporary file name. And then in here, I can put in the value of my, my key here. Let's do that, save it, and I can exit out, and it'll put it in there. Similarly, I can create a file with the secret in it and just do dash dash binary file and then the name of the file and I'll read the secret from the file. So now we have some secrets in there. We can list them again. So Databricks secrets list scope Azure. And you notice it just gives the key name and the last time it got updated. It's not going to show the key value in here. All right, so that's how you're working with secrets in the Databricks CLI. But what if you want to access a secret within an Azure notebook? All right, so I'm in an Azure Databricks notebook here. In order to use a secret within here, we just call dbutils.secrets. And we can do a few things on here, such as list out all of our secrets within a specific scope, so Azure. There we go, so we got two secrets, the key two and the storage secrets that we added earlier. And speaking of scopes, we can go dbutils.secrets.list.scopes to get all the scopes that we have. Uh, scopes. There we go. So we have the Azure and then the key scopes. Now, a way to get the key from a secret is you do dbutils secrets and get, and then we pass in the scope we want to use. So the Azure scope and then the key we want to use, so key two. Now look what happens when I submit this. It actually prints out redacted. The Azure Databricks notebook is not going to show you the key when it prints out to a notebook instance.
but it'll still be used if you save it into a variable and then use that variable somewhere else, then it'll be used there. And speaking of which, even if you try to save this into a variable, so I'll just copy this into a variable and then print that variable, it's going to do the same. It's going to redact it. So you don't have to worry about your keys showing up within your Databricks notebooks using this dbutils API. That's how you can use secrets within the Databricks CLI and within the Databricks notebooks. And if you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks.